Now, we are going to talk about an insanely powerful AI tool that can generate not just high quality images, but also realistic AI videos with no restrictions on your prompts whatsoever. And I mean, no restrictions. In this video, we're diving deep into a tool called PromptsChan.com. And let me tell you, this one is criminally underrated. I mean, no watermarks and no prompt limits. This is a tool that is crucial to be able to create an AI influencer. And because it is completely unrestricted, you can use this to create content that can be sold on platforms like DFans. It supports tons of different models, styles, and creative controls. So it is highly customizable. Now, be sure to watch this carefully and save it if you can, because the last time I uploaded something like this, the platform took it down. Also, I will be showing you a trick to use this tool for free. So make sure you watch till the very end because you do not want to miss the tricks I'll be sharing. Also, be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content like this. Okay guys, so the name of the site we're going to use is PromptChan.com. And don't worry, the link will be in the description. It's a really cool and underrated AI tool that can generate images and videos with no limits to the prompts. And it's also free. Be sure to watch till the end to see how you can use this tool for free. So as we can see here, the safe mode is on to remove the uncensored content because we're on YouTube. But if you go over here to your settings, you can disable safe mode, which is a cool touch. Then this is the explore page and let's get straight to creating. So first of all, we can create an image. Over here, we can easily describe our image. So let's put in a prompt like this. As you can see over here, this button is for ideas. In case you don't have any prompts, you can easily use this. Over here is the negative prompt. We can leave that. Here is the characters section for better consistency, where you can use your generated images as characters. And over here is the style of the image. So let's choose Hyper Excel plus V2. For the filters, we can leave it at default, leave the pose at default, emotions at default. I can't show them here because some of them are a bit sensitive and would be restricted on this site. And over here are some of the other customization features. We can go back to settings to customize the image. We either have the options of square, portrait, or wide. The wide is more of a 16 by nine aspect ratio. The portrait should be like nine by 16 and the square should be one by one. So let's just leave it at portrait. Then for quality, let's leave it as high. Then for the detail, we would leave it at a proper amount. We'll leave it at neutral or let's increase it to sharp for sharper details. Then for creativity, maybe leave that at balanced. Now simply click on create and let's see what it cooks for us. Now in literally under a minute, it's done. And boy oh boy, this did a really good realistic job. I mean, it's actually impressive. You can see that the fact we selected sharp detail actually made a difference. Over here, we can upscale it, but obviously we don't need to do that. We can tweak it, we can animate it to send it straight to image to video. But for now, we'll simply go here and download it. Now let's try another prompt for our influencer. So over here, we can change the prompt to something like this. Just a simple prompt. Then we can go here, make the image size wide and click on create. Let's see how it would cook. As we can see, it's done, and this looks amazing. Again, it looks realistic, and it obeyed the prompt. Amazing detail, and it did a very good job. But let's just go over here and download this. Now let's try the same image, but in a different style. Let's say an anime model, we'll choose Anime Excel, and then let's change the prompt a bit. Let's change the aspect ratio to square. Then for the filters, Let's say Comic Excel and hit Create. So it's done. And once again, it has done an amazing job. Really impressive work here. It did very good. As you can see, it kept the comic aspect with different panels and still gave it anime-like characters, which is really good. So that's nice. Now let's try the image to video feature. As we can see here, we can either use a picture or give it a prompt. Let's just give it a simple prompt, something like this. Of course, some of the poses are a bit NSFW, so we'll leave that out for obvious reasons. Then simply hit create. We have this attributes section where you can specify the age, but since we're talking about a dog here, I don't think it matters much. So we'll just click create. As you can see, it's done. Let's see what it cooked for us.
although the walking is a bit weird, there are no deformations in the video. I mean look at the way the water even lifts off its feet. That's a really nice touch, and the reflection is on point. So yes, all in all, I think it did a really really good job. The quality is also top notch. Next up, let's test out image to video, using an existing image. This part is a bit tricky. We can either go to the explore page, and choose an image, or go to our profile, and choose one. This is why your published setting should always be on public, because it saves your creations to your public profile. That feature exists for privacy reasons, which is cool, but for images we want to animate, we need to have them saved. So let's click on view profile, and select one of our profile images. We have this image here, and we can easily scroll down and click on animate. You can give it a prompt, but as you all know, for the first test, we don't prompt it to see how well it understands the image. Click on create. Now you'll see this bar appear here. It shows your progress. It takes about 3 to 5 minutes to generate which is actually on the faster side when it comes to video generation. So let's wait and see what it cooks. Okay, it's done. Let's see what it cooked. And it really did a nice job. No morphing or deformations whatsoever. And remember, we didn't add any prompts. So now let's add a prompt, something like this. Let's see how it handles this one, and simply click animate. Okay, it's done. Let's see what it cooked for us. And this looks very realistic, exactly as described in the prompt. No morphing at all, even the way it moves is so realistic. This just shows you how powerful and realistic this tool can be. This is just insane. So don't forget, keep your publish setting always on public, so your videos and images get saved to your public account. Let's try the other video gen model. We'll pick one from our profile again. Here's the image we generated earlier. We'll click animate, and prompt it like this. Now if you go into these settings, you'll see there are two versions. These are the models. There's version 2 and version 3, which we've been using so far, and obviously has better quality. To prove that let me use version 2 for this. The thing with version 2, is that you can change the image size, which I find to be a bit more customizable. You can either use wide, or portrait mode. Let's go with wide, and click animate. Now as you can see, version 2 is done. Let's see what it cooked. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of morphing. But again, this is the V2 model, so there's that. V3 is way better than it. Remember, don't forget to always leave your publish setting on public. And for us to use this tool completely for free, you can turn this on. As you can see, it will take more time to generate, but it will be free. Also note, this is only for the image generator for now. And that's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.